Flint, Michigan, um, Flint, Michigan City elected two felons to the city council, including a convicted murderer. The new city council, uh, now I got to tell you, before I go into the story, let me be very clear. I think once you've paid your debt to society, you can do whatever the hell you want to do. And if you can convince people in your town to vote for you, then so be it. Who stops me to judge you? Who your, your electorate elected you. They elected you to serve them, whether you're a felon or not. Um, but here's how the story goes down. The new councilmen with a record want was Davis beat incumbent Bernard Lowry by 71 votes to win a seat on the Flint's fifth ward. Davis served 19 years in prison after pleading guilty for a second degree murder charge in 1991. Um, Davis was 17 year old in, let me tell you the story so you can have all the context. He was 17 year old in August 91 when Kenneth S. Morris, 27, was killed at his home on Grace Street. Morris, Morris, um, the individual at his house on Grace Street, died after being shot three times, once in each hip, abdomen, and mouth, according to the Flint Journal archives. He wanted, he went and reached into his pocket, so I reached into my pocket and I shot him, Davis said. On Wednesday, November 6th, I found him, I found out later he died and I turned myself in. I never intended to shoot Mr. Morris. To this day, I am very remorseful. Um, but either way, he, whether he's remorseful or not, he is now the new city council member in Flint, Michigan. Um, now, in Michigan, there is no law barring felons from being elected officials. Um, the exemption being, being that convicted of, be, unless you're convicted of a fraud or public corruption, which is different while related to your government service. So if you are out there stealing government money and you want to run again, big problem. But if you commit a crime in your personal life and you have been found innocent of that crime, so people want to elect you again. I have no problems with this whatsoever. And it also speaks volumes. It goes to the same fact that I have no problem with the fact that I think if you after, if you are a felon and you have served your time and you serve, you paid your debt to society, your debt should end once it's paid off, meaning you should have your rights to vote should be restored absolutely immediately. So in Flint, I give a big shout out to Councilman Davis, Councilman elect Davis, um, and I wish him the best. And I hope that he can, you know, be part of the generation of folks that turn Flint around. Congratulations, sir.